Hello, this is a demo for the Slideshow Images plugin for Resolum Avenue and Arena. With this plugin, you can simply type in the name of an image or type in uh, the name of a text file that has a list of images. And Resolum will just build your slideshow and play it. So you can do this on the fly, very easy, very last minute. Let's go ahead and show you how it works. So first, we're going to start with a slideshow entry plugin. Simply dragging it into Resolum, select it, and it gives you a very helpful message here. Not enough images to start a slideshow. So let's add some image names. Now if you go over here, you'll see a text entry field called image path. Let's open this up so you can see it. Right here it just has one thing called default image. We don't want that. So let's go find an image. In the slideshow images plugin folder, you'll see there's a file, a folder called images. In that, there's a bunch of image names. Let's just copy them. Copy. Now remember the image itself is in the images folder. So you have to type that as well. This is very helpful if you have multiple sources, multiple folders for an image rather than having them loose all at the root level. Let's copy another image name. We need three images for this to build a proper slideshow. Paste that one. And let's do one more. And paste. So, the slideshow entry plugin takes a second, builds the slideshow, and here you go. Have all your images with a nice fade. You can adjust the speed of the fade, and you can adjust the hold time that the image will stay up for. You'll notice that it centers the images in the middle of the screen. However, sometimes you want to make things as big as they possibly can be. There's two ways to fit the screen. You can fit and keep the aspect ratio like this, and you'll see that it stretches it out as wide as it can without breaking the aspect ratios. Or you can scale it to fit, like so, and it just stretches the width and the height to be the plugin's width and height, which is 1920 by 1080. You can also show in information about the image. It will give you your path name, which is very helpful when you're troubleshooting. Remember, you're copying and pasting these image names on the fly, so this is where an error message will be. One thing that's very cool is you can even go online, take an image off the internet as well. Let's say Mad Max Party. Scroll down to find a cool looking image. You know what? I like this one. Copy image URL. Paste it. Just give the plugin a minute to find it. Speed this up a little bit. And there you go. And of course, you can also delete images as well. So you can see, this is a very flexible and very robust way to import your images. Let's take a look at the Slideshow List plugin. It works slightly differently. You'll notice that instead of image name, text entry field, you have one for file name, and what it's doing is it's looking for a file called imagelist.txt in the images folder. Let's go take a look at that. So, in the images folder, you'll see our text file. Open it up and it should open up in Notepad, something super simple. We don't want to do formatting or anything like that. But you can see there's a bunch of 
image names, pass two images in here. So when you select it, the first thing it does is it goes and looks for this text file and loads it in. Give it a second, and it'll build us our slideshow. The same parameters apply, just our fade time, our hold time, etc. This is extremely helpful if you have, for instance, a bunch of presentations. Each one of them has their own images. For instance, John Smith might have a presentation about carpeting, whereas Jack Smith wants to have wants to show a bunch of images of logos, for instance. Super easy to do. Notice that we have a folder in our slideshow images plugin folder called logos. Look at that. It has a bunch of logos and a text file called logoslist.txt. Let's copy this. And if we go we actually go in here, we can see it has all the paths to our logo images. Simply paste the path to the text file in here, return, and all of a sudden we have a slideshow of logos. Oh, and of course it has the same options, fit to screen versus scale to screen. So let these fit, fit a little bit better. There we go. And of course, because this is Resolume, all other parameters apply. You can adjust the scale of your clip, adjust rotation and positioning and everything else. Thank you very much.